Vintage cars often cost a lot of money, so for many enthusiasts it's easier and cheaper to build their own versions, especially since they'll be one of a kind. This version features an upgraded Packard engine with Volkswagen carburetors, hybrid steering from Packard and Ford, and a Chevy transmission. The suspension's made from springs from a trailer, and canoe parts were used for the hull. The wheels are 21 inches. Unfortunately, the Craftsman didn't get much feedback, even though it's a really cool project. However, the main thing is the pleasure of driving it. Keeping with the subject of super and hypercars, we should talk about Bugatti. Today we have an unusual variant of the Bugatti Type 35. This model was produced from 1924 to 1931, and in 2008 it was included in the list of the most beautiful cars in history, according to The Telegraph. The author called his work a handmade cycle car. It's equipped with an electric motor of 2.2 kilowatts. The scale of the project is 1 to 1.2, and the homemade vehicle accelerates up to 22 miles per hour. Interestingly, the craftsman worked without a clear plan, relying on sketches and data of a small 1 to 18 scale model. He said that anyone who wants to know the details can email him. Let's see what Danish craftsmen are up to. One of the leading industries in the country is mechanical engineering. It's worth mentioning Hydrema, the Danish manufacturer of dump trucks. So there are enough skillful people in the country who are ready to build interesting handmade devices. On your screen is one of the brightest examples. According to the description, this tracked marvel of engineering was built as a part of an educational project for which only 10 weeks were allocated. One of the versions has a 3 cubic inch engine, and the vehicle has no problem climbing even a mountain of pallets. The team didn't have a clear plan, as in the last project, nor did they have a list of used components, which people asked for in the comments. Some even wanted to buy the final product. Next is a project that is unusual for three reasons. First, the Hungarocopter is the first helicopter designed and manufactured in Hungary. Secondly, it's available as a self-assembly kit. And third, its operating costs are 25% lower than its counterparts. The design incorporates very interesting solutions, such as an electric rescue system, an automatic anti-tip device, and a movable fuel tank. The propeller diameter is about 23 feet, and there are models with 125 and 160 horsepower engines. Newer versions have closed cockpits and are now two-seaters. The current range is 280 miles, or two and a half hours. The helicopter can be used in a wide variety of ways, from recreational flights to air medical services. To build this hybrid, its creators took a little bit of everything. It has a removable dozer blade like a bulldozer, and tracks from a bandwagon all-terrain vehicle designed for the army, found at a dump, and a very comfortable cabin. This homemade vehicle easily negotiates snow-covered fields and flattens out a pile of mulch, and it's also compact and obviously a lot of fun for its owner and his friends. I've seen many builds. And this one is definitely one of the most elaborate, very impressive, writes a user. Our next stop is the Netherlands, where the creators of this homemade multicopter are conquering the skies. By the way, they've come a long way. From a prototype that looked like a frame with a plank instead of a seat, to a model that already resembles something close to a production vehicle. These vehicles are quite promising. For example, in 2025, the US is planning to launch fully-fledged flying cabs, and China is actively testing passenger drones. A local company has conducted about a thousand test flights, reaching a speed of 81 miles per hour. This Dutch self-made model is of course more modest but it was literally assembled in a backyard, and it works. 
Also, the team worked on the fuselage and planned to replace the manual controller with a fully-fledged dashboard. The original 16 propellers were reduced to four, which is enough for the unmanned version. In 2020, there was a bike boom in Hungary. One of the reasons was the pandemic. As soon as the weather got better, people started looking for alternative means of transportation. Spring sales of bicycles went up by as much as 35%, and the average statistic is that up to 300,000 bicycles a year are sold in the country. So this project is clearly a good fit. The author of this project, a local design expert, offers a quiet and compact bicycle with a one kilowatt geared motor. The three-wheel design is aesthetically pleasing, and the bike is equipped with a 15 amp hour battery. But you can also ride by just pedaling. The author notes that he worked without a team and support, so it took him two months just to collect the parts and materials, not to mention the rest of the project. But people in the comments are excited. Even users from Sweden and Brazil are interested, and many are eager to know the price. Next up is a tractor with a V12 engine. It lives in Sweden, and considering that the average Swedish farm is about 89 acres, it clearly has a lot of work to do. According to the description of the video, the diesel engine is capable of producing more than a thousand horsepower, and some reviews say that it's an almost 2,380 cubic inch Transmash V12 tank engine. Listen to how this monster purrs, even when just standing still, one reviewer suggests. A nice little convertible for going to the beach, people joked in the comments. Although you'd better not show such videos to environmentalists. Continuing our journey, we find ourselves in the United States. Americans also like to build interesting things in their leisure time. For example, a 12-year-old from Tennessee assembled a working nuclear reactor at home, making it into the Guinness World Records. But we want to show you an unusual tracked vehicle that resembles a mini tank. The author has a whole series of videos on the subject on his channel. You should build a tracked ATV factory as soon as you perfect the design, suggests an impressed viewer. This tracked vehicle looks like it could go into production right now, and its creators obviously happy. And why not? It has a 22 horsepower engine and an original frame, which can be easily supplemented with a tarp and a blade, getting a snowplow. Off-road performance and maneuverability are provided by two tracks from Polaris snowmobiles. Besides, the author loves fishing, and this tracked helper will definitely be perfect for that. However, not everyone liked it. One commenter called the project terribly ugly. What do you think? On the screen is an amazing project, a railroad and steam locomotive from Russian engineer Pavel Chilin. The work took him more than 10 years, but now he has 1,148 feet of track, seven switches, and several routes at his disposal. The railroad can be used for entertainment as well as for work, for example, to carry goods for landscaping. The locomotive's power is about five horsepower. It runs on firewood and accelerates to about 15 miles per hour. The entire project as a whole is so unique that it even made the news. How to make gardening easier. It's simple. Just upgrade your two-wheel tractor and you can start digging up potatoes. This project from Russia uses a two-wheel tractor, the Ugra, and an adapter, AMPK500, with rear-wheel drive. The trick is that the tractor has two PTO shafts, one of which is designed for such adapters. However, many users doubted the universality of this solution, in particular its efficiency in dense soils. But it can be quickly turned into a plow, tiller, digger, and other tools. All you need is the right attachments.
Last but not least is this skidder. This kind of machinery is used for logging work, such as pulling and transporting logs. The video description is brief, made from random junk. Nevertheless, the homemade machine copes with its task. Plus, due to its compactness, it's easy to maneuver and takes up minimum space. By the way, its creator is a jack of all trades. According to his website, he has five patents and works on a wide variety of projects, from a heating boiler to industrial tools. 